All right, so we're here floating, and I just have this. This is from a different boat, <clears throat> so I just have this on here, kind of as a, for temporary, just for te the testing purposes. The actual one will probably be a bit higher, a bit uh, larger as well. I'm still kind of working out the placement of it here, but uh, today I've already been out a few times on this, and it's unbelievable. But today is. I have the camera charged up and ready to go. So um, what I want to do is just see how quick we're going. So I have a GPS phone app and we're going to see what kind of speeds we're getting out of this thing. And so far, this has been the most fun boat I've ever been on. So um, yeah, I'm pretty excited. So the one thing too is just it's as stable as I thought it would be so for example if we have this <clears throat> platform in the back it's really comfortable to get up on it and uh, you know it just feels predictable and, and not all that tippy so something just a bit larger and mostly because you can go a bit larger back here uh, will certainly be awesome to stand up stand up from and uh, just fish on and also it doubles as a great seat so it's all about finding the the ideal position because it is you know it's only a 10 foot boat so um, there's that and then also just like walking around in the front we have a ton of buoyancy here so everything's great up in here and when I plan to put a trolling motor on the front it should be uh, should work out pretty well but yeah you can just just very stable get all the way over to the edge it feels great all right so let's see how quick uh, we can get going here Okay, so frustrating enough, it seems to be 19 is where we're topping out at, according to that that app right there. Um, certainly feels a lot faster than that, but 19, again, with just this little six horsepower motor, 19 is pretty good, so I'll definitely take it. Uh, I, there are a couple of things that need to be done. For example, on the um, underside, we're going to put some tracking streaks 
I'm not exactly sure what they're called, but certainly need some of those because being a flat bottom boat, you can definitely feel this thing skidding around in turns. So those will be good. And I think on the trailing edge of the boat, so the, the back edge, instead of a sharp, um, I mean, instead of like a slightly rounded edge, I'm going to sharpen that up and that might get us to that 20. I'm, I'm not quite sure. But uh, those are the two other things. And besides that, <clears throat> I've only ever taken it out in kind of conditions like this. So very flat, calm, but nothing's getting wet as far as there's absolutely no spray coming up at all. I'm not sure what that would change in like a light chop, but I might add the spray rails just in case um, it might help out if you're kind of going slower through some larger some larger waves um, but that's really it I mean it's just been pretty impressive so far uh, it's just nice to be able to get this little motor here going like here in it kind of hit its max rpms it's pretty cool and, and just to go so quick on such a small little boat with a small engine is awesome i'm sure the larger engine obviously we'd be going much faster i got a friend with a, a 10 horsepower and so i might try that but it, at that point it might just be totally overkill but uh yeah i mean besides that it's just going to come down to the finish work and, and making this thing really look the best it can um but i was just overall pleased to see that the whole hull shape so far is working out and uh, you know with a platform it's going to be great and then i think so down underneath the platform will be a great area to store stuff again this is from a separate boat so i think um, on this one, I, I'm going to go a few inches wider, certainly make, make it extend back a bit more and a bit taller because I like to get the tiller handle underneath. So it's positioned underneath and you can kind of comfortably sit there and hold it. So I'll certainly be bumping the height up, um, maybe five, six inches or so. And then I'll probably, the, you know, the rod holders go on the side there. Um, and then I think definitely some sort of kind of shelf underneath the lip. Just something where you can quickly store, say, a phone. Um, simple stuff like that. And then I, I think on the insides here, I'm going to figure out a way to uh, be able to kind of strap down, say, um, a little gas tank. And then on the other side, maybe a small battery to run the trolling motor and just whatever other gear you have, some kind of something in the back to keep everything from sliding out back. And then you'll be able to just kind of shove everything up and underneath there just to get it out of the way and, and keep the whole deck nice and free for fishing space because that's really the whole point of these things is I want all just clean, clear deck to uh, walk around on, fly cast from, um, really whatever you're into. I just can't stand these like cluttered decks where like there's really only one, like you see these massive, uh, kayak paddleboard skiff type things and they're 14 feet long. And I mean, pretty much all you can do is just stand up in one little spot and that's it. Cause like the rest is just full of I don't know some sort of clutter I, I don't just it just doesn't look right to me and on top of that they're they just seem slow and sluggish and inefficient so um yeah that's the goal this is where we're at right now so so far so good